It's important to regularly check your headlights and a quick check each week will only take you a couple of minutes. Now you need to look for damage and dirt and obviously if they're working properly and remember to check the headlights on both the dip and the main beam. If they're not working, we need to investigate and find out why. For safety reasons, make sure the keys are not in the ignition and disconnect the battery terminals. If you're not sure, just check your manual. Now, if both the dip and the main beam aren't working, it could be the fuse or the bulb. Now, it's most logical to check the fuse first. So consult your manual to find your fuse box. Then to find the right fuse, look at the fuse box diagram. If it's blown, you'll see that it's broken, so replace it with a new one which is the same colour with the same number on the back. Now we know the fuses are okay, let's reconnect the battery and check the lights again. If they're still not working, we'll have to move on and check the bulbs. Now look at your manual to see how you access your bulb. In my car, I do it coming through the back of the light unit. So you go in and you twist the bulb holder to withdraw it, and then you remove the bulb without touching the glass. Then have a look at the filament to see whether it's broken or not. If it is, you're gonna need a new bulb. Now you have to make sure the bulb and the bulb holder are connected back into the light securely. Once that's done, you can reconnect the battery and test the light. If you're still having problems, you're gonna have to consult an expert.